the perfect moment to bring in your new leading lady, new stage star. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kim Wilde. <laughs> you look stunning. Oh, thanks. You look like Grace so, Kelly. Oh, I was expecting I? Tommy's mum to come in looking sort of angst ridden, looking somewhat downtrodden. Forget well, all she that. She does get quite angst ridden, you know, she's got a lot on her plate, but she starts off at 19 and she only ages to 35. So, you know, that's I quite don't, acceptable. That's totally acceptable. Right. Now, <laughs> did you get offered this part on a plate from Pete? Did he call you up one day and say, Hi, Kimmy, fancy playing Mrs. Walker? What happened? Well, I hadn't met Pete before this anyway. Um, I got sent the script and the CD, and I was um, immediately interested because I loved it as a kid. We had the album at home, and I was a big fan of the album. So that's what sort of drew me to it initially. And I was looking for a change and another challenge. And then um, they said, do you want to do the audition? So I went to the audition, and that's the first time I met Pete. You had to actually audition for this role. Had you ever done an audition in your life before? No. <laughs> tell, tell, us, tell us, tell us, so Pete, you were there at the audition. She was stunning. She you was... looked bored, you did. I well, have to yeah, say yeah, no, no. No, no, that, that's, that's the chess player's face that one, that one has to have at auditions, because you don't want to really... I give too much away to anybody, really, and you want the person that's doing the audition to feel that they've done it and not somebody that's sitting there coming out. Yeah, mm. it is great. Mm. And uh, you, you were stunning, I think. I mean, really quite, quite moving, I found it, because it was quite obvious from the minute that, that Kim walked in that, that she was going to be able to act and that that's the thing. Everybody knows she can sing, everybody knows that she's wonderful looking and can move and everything and, ha and has an auspicious career behind her. But it's just this question mark, can she act? And it was quite clear that she can act very well and will is, get better. Is this going to mark a whole change of direction for you in life? Do you think that you'll always mm. want to act after this as well as sing? I really don't know. <laughs> you wait to see how it goes. Yeah, I don't think about it. I didn't sort of do this as a sort of... Um, uh, as a sort of way of, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't like a career move. It's not a career move. I'm doing it because I love Tommy and I want to be in Tommy and because I love singing. And, you know, I'm not sort of doing it to try and get somewhere else. I'm doing it because I want to be here right now. Now, we keep reading in the press that, that you are... you are feeling very good about life at the moment. It's, mm. it's been said, I quote, I don't know if it's true that you feel like you're reaching the peak of your life right now. Yeah. Why is that happening now, Kim? What, what's, what's made that happen now for you? I think, you know, I, had, I got famous very young. I was 20 and I worked very hard at my career until I was 30 and I, very, I focused very much in on my career and um, I realised at around about 30 that I focused too much on my career and in the last five years I've, I've set out to, to balance my life and um, I've achieved that in various different ways. I won't go on about it, but I have. And now there's a balance, and so my career means more and I enjoy it more. My life means more, and the, the two sort of complement each other. Now, you, you both have, Pete, you were saying about your own musical background. Obviously, Kim, your, your background is exactly the same, very, very musical. Mm. Then you both went off to art college for a while and then came back to music. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's it, it, sort of parallel lines here. How important is, 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 was family involvement to you both? How important it was it was very to important you? to me, and I'm sure it's important to Kim too, even mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And to you as well, Kim. Mm -hmm. So they'll all be there on the first night. On the night <laughs> the they'll probably be there every night next year, sir. <laughs> they'll be living in the theatre. <laughs> they'll be bloody well paying. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I, can I, I'd just like to add that. See I, what's I, happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> I've become cynical. Uh, no, I just, I just would like to remind all my friends that I, I do have to pay for all the tickets. So stop asking me for freebies. That's terrible. <laughs> I just kind of like phone say, hello, uh, Kim. Now, I, I assume because the whole family are going, you've got much, much younger sister, I know that. It's a family show. It's a show that you, I mean, you've already given that impression that you've almost rounded it off, not rounded it off, but, but given it a much more broad approach by putting in an extra song, for example. Is it something that everybody's going to be able to come along and relate to in some way, whether you're a mother or a child or whatever? I think so. Absolutely, without doubt. I mean, for me as a child, it, it worked at all kinds of levels, of, almost like a sort of fairy story. And I didn't really understand some of the complexities and some of the sort of dark moments of it when I was 12 or 13. But I was very drawn to it. It had a, a lot of passion, a lot of power, a lot of mystery. 
And um, so I think, you know, for young people, it, you know, it will be enchanting and mysterious. And for older people, of course, they'll enjoy listening to those fantastic songs again. And there are some superb actors and actresses. How are rehearsals going? beautifully going? directed and staged and <laughs> it just is Are you gorgeous. enjoying it then? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a real feast of, of, of delight. No, it's yes. gorgeous. Yes. As, as rehearsals progress, how much are you looking forward to or feeling a bit daunted about the first night? <laughs> eek. <laughs> it's a bit eekish. I don't think about I mean, that. is it more eekish than, say, the first night of a tour? I mean, the first night when you were out there with Michael Jackson or whatever. Does it probably, actually... Probably make... the same thing. I was terrified the first time I um, opened for Michael Jackson. I was terrified the first time that I hosted a TV show. It'll be, I'll be terrified. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wish you, I wish you luck. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's part, it's oh, don't get too gushing now. You'll spoil all that stuff at the audition. <laughs> all that <laughs> Mr. Laid Back at the audition. Mm. Well, we're going to hear the new song, a bit of a premiere exclusive that we have today yeah. uh, in a little while. But thanks for the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Pete Townsend, Kim Wilde.